Today I will discuss about retinal image size. Why myopic is larger and hyperopic is smaller image than the actual size of the object. We all know that myopic patient see the image larger than the actual size of the object and hyperopic patient see smaller image than the actual size of the object. But the question is why myopic is larger and hyperopic is smaller image than the actual size. To understand this, first we need to know the etiology of myopia and hyperopia. Among all type of myopia and hyperopia, axial myopia and axial hyperopia is commonest. I will explain why myopic is larger and hyperopic is smaller image than the actual size of the object with axial myopia and axial hyperopia. When axial length increases, myopia occurs and when axial length decreases, hyperopia occurs. Let's see the ray diagram of an emetropic eye. When the rays coming from infinity pass through the optical medium of the eyes and focus on the retina. If we make this patient axial myopic, then the position of retina will be away from the original retina, somewhere here. If we make this patient hyperopic, then the position of the retina will be in front of the original retina, somewhere here. Now see, this is the size of image of an emetropic eye. This is the size of image of a myopic eye. This is the size of image of hyperopic eye. So you can see from the ray diagram that myopic is larger image than the actual size of the object and hyperopic is smaller image than the actual size of the object. Now another question may come to your mind that can we calculate the image size of myopic and hyperopic eye? Yes, we can. Let's see in the next slide. To calculate image size of myopic or hyperopic, we need to take help from reduced eye model. In reduced eye, there is a single refracting surface and the nodal point is at the center of curvature of single refractive surface of the eye. The distance from the nodal point to retina is 17.2 mm. The retinal image size is found by multiplying the distance from nodal point to retina that is 17.2 mm by the angle in radians. The formula is retinal image size equal to 17.2 multiplied by A. Here A is angle of incident or refracting in radian. Now we know in reduced eye model nodal point is at the center of single refracting surface. This is a figure of reduced eye model with single refractive surface. Here is the center of single refractive surface and also nodal point of the eye. We know that rays directed towards the nodal point will go straight to the retina without bending. Now let's consider a ray from the top of an object directed towards the nodal point. So it will go straight to the retina without bending. Therefore object and image subtend at the same angle. Now let's see an example. If the ray coming from the top of an object subtends an angle of 0.1 radian at the nodal point, then what will be the size of retinal image? Let's see in the next slide. The formula was the retinal image size equal to 17.2 multiplied by A. Here A is 0.1. So the retinal image size will be retinal image size equal to 17.2 multiplied by 0.1 or 1.72 millimeter. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.